drugs to produce great food and Donegal is increasingly becoming a county that's famous for producing great food and uh, also a lot of fine food being introduced in the northwest in general but uh, this morning what we're focusing on is uh, juices because uh, Stephen McCrossan from Discover Juice is in the studio now and very good morning to you sir good morning John how are you uh, very good, and I'm going to be better now after sampling some of those juices. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, uh, you say no additives, no chemicals, 100% natural. Exactly, all natural, 100%, nothing added, nothing taken away. All right. So you, you go into any supermarket and uh, go over to the chill cabinet and there'll be loads of juices. And not, sure. that, not that many of them perhaps as healthy as yours, but there's, there's bound to be some... Help there is, there's variations, it. yes. We're kind of coming at it from a local cold pressed and healthy option. As you say, if you lifted a bottle of Coke and you looked at all the additives, there's so many bad things in it. We've got a natural product here that's very healthy, and that's the kind of angle we're coming at. Right. And uh, uh, to to fill a to fill a niche in the market, uh, healthy is one one box to tick, but then there's others as well because. Uh, you seem to have focused on uh, giving people uh, almost an instant boost. Exactly, for energy as well and there's so many benefits because each ingredient that's in the bottle has their own benefits. So you're getting each different bottle, you're getting different benefits and it could maybe help for different things. So it's, it's quite a good wee product to be incorporating into your daily lifestyle. So how long have you been producing juices? Uh, personally, I've been doing them at home for maybe four or five years now. Uh, I've only started making them in this company now about four or five months, and it's took off. So was it the case of other people who, uh, sampling the juices and going, you know, you should roll these out, these are good? Yeah, well, I've had a friend of mine that's been on me for quite a long time that I should make something of it because I've been preaching about all these healthy things for years, um, and I think you could see there was a, an angle there to go at, so... I finally pulled the finger out and started it then, back in September. It's kind of like taking the hassle out of people having to juice themselves at exactly. home, or to buy a whole pile of ingredients and then to work out what goes with what. It's very time consuming if you're to do it at home. You're chatting minimum 15 minutes between preparing your veg, juicing, and then cleaning up after you. So we're kind of coming at the angle, we'll take the hassle out of that for you. Now, so you have some of the range, this, this is the range here, because there's... Um, yeah, that's some of the range we have up there. The very mellow, we have the Popeye green, carrot gold, and the emerald green. Now, it has to be said that the two green ones don't look that appetizing. They're scary looking, that's very true. We had to do a few taster demonstrations in the shops to kind of get them going, because people mm -hmm. look at them and they think, right, I don't know if, if yeah. I like that, and the ingredients are scary. Because but then once they taste them, they're very surprised. Straight away, you look at something green, you're going, hmm, that's, you know, <laughs> it might be it healthy, but it just doesn't. doesn't look normal. To yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and what's the, what's the benefits of each of these? And, and I mean, are they, they aimed at something in particular, each of these? Uh, uh, well, they're just kind of different flavours, really, and then each of them have their own ingredients. So say you're emerald green, you have kale and that. So like kale's class as a superfood now. And then the carrot gold, you have carrot, of course, which is great for a lot of things. And uh, Popeye Green has got spinach, which is full of iron, and then the berry mellow, which is strawberries, watermelons, which kind of antioxidants. And we find a lot of kids would be fond of the berry mellow. Yeah, because that's got a lovely colour. It's right? very nice. It's it's straight away, you go, hey, yeah, I'll take a sip. My nephew there, he's only one and a half, and he would drink away at that. Right. And he'd be running around like a, a madman after, but he loves it. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to try one of the green ones, just to... Uh, just to <laughs> just, uh, just have would you be surprised that one. the emerald green would probably be the best seller? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and this is, what's in this one then? Did you say broccoli? You have kale, broccoli, you have pineapple, you have pear, uh, celery, and you have parsley as well. And a bit of lemon. Mm. That actually does taste good. Mm. Because when you see a green, you're thinking, mm, there's going to be a... There's going to be a vegetable taste off this. Yeah. Well, there is in the background. Exactly. But then, you know, things like pineapple and stuff sweeten it the up. The fruit helps it. Um, mm. With another range, then we call them the more veggie range, would be from the more hardcore juice drinkers who've been maybe doing it for a while. These have been more transitional juices for people who's never done it before, just to get them into it. Because, um, as you say, they're quite scary looking, and people, they're afraid to try new things, I think. 
for them all to do. We're all we're all guilty of that. Exactly. And uh, so, I mean, there's health benefits with uh, taking, uh, you know, a healthy juice as opposed to something that's uh, full of chemicals and sugars. Yeah. And 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 others besides, because you mentioned there, you know, giving you an instant boost to helping with helping with your energy. Yeah. And your immune system, your health prevention. Like um, I learned from my own mistake, developed an illness four or five years ago, and it was an eye opener for me. Just made me change my whole lifestyle, really, and made me think about what I was eating, what I was putting into my body. And I kept doing on loads of research, and I found like juicing was the key, because you're taking the fruit and veg in this raw form, you're not cooking it, and it's it's very easy for your body to absorb the liquid rather than the food. And did you find it uh, a difficult process to, to go from juicing at home and having you know friends and family um, trying them out when they're around to actually getting them into fancy bottles with fancy labels and getting them out there on shop shelves? It was a difficult process at the start uh, because everything was really new and of course starting a business quite stressful but it came together very well. Um, I've got a lot of good feedback from it and people Love the packaging, love the taste, love the flavour, so it's so far so good. Okay, well we've all got uh, Discover Juice on the front, pure raw juice, and someone is asking are they gluten free or is there any sugar added? No sugar, nothing added, 100% natural, they're all gluten free, um, just what you see on the, on the bottle and that's it. Uh, are your juices suitable for diabetics? There, we have a diabetic range because I understand diabetics can't have certain fruits, but they can have a little green apple. So we have like a more veggie range, but we don't have them in the shops because I find the fruitier ones go better in the shops because it, people will buy them quicker. Okay. But if someone was looking for diabetic juices, they can contact us direct through the Facebook page. It's no problem. We do, we do count for that as well. I buy the juice, but I'm unsure about the best before date. I couldn't find it on the bottle. How long can I store it in the fridge for, says somebody? Uh, usually when we juice, that's the only problem with this product is the shelf life because it's so natural. So we kind of give about three to four days on it. Mm. Um, there's processes you can do to extend the shelf life up until a month, which I investigated. But I just, I feel like I'm coming out of the healthy option. And I don't know if the bottle sitting in the shelf for a month, is it as healthy as one that's just prepared maybe a couple of days ago? So I'm avoiding that at all costs, I think. It says here, uh, uh, consume, keep refrigerated and uh, once open, consume within 24 hours. But you're saying that, um, you know, it's fine sitting in the fridge for a few days, but the longer that they're in the fridge or on the shelf, then it doesn't help. It's, not, it's, it's You'd find that it starts to go off. Um, just as fruit and veg would if yeah. it was sitting at home. Um, usually if they're kept closed, they're, they'll last longer. But the ideal would be to take them straight away when you juice. But you're, it's difficult to do that as well, yeah. especially if you're on the move. So we've tested them and they are still still healthy after a couple of days. And still, I drink away at them, even up to four or five days. So it'll, you're better drinking them than something else. And uh, even though they... The longer the shelf, well, this tends to be the way, the longer the shelf life, the the more added ingredients there are. The less so, natural. Yeah. It's, it goes without saying. All right, what are these, uh, what are these wee, wee shots? So yeah, what? that's something new we've started. It's a uh, wee immune bomb. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the spice turmeric. It comes from the curry family. So it's meant to be one of the healthiest spices you can have. So it's turmeric, ginger, lemon, cayenne pepper, and a wee bit of pineapple to kind of take the bitterness off it. It's okay. a wee bit hot, so... A wee bit hot? Is it meant to be ta Is this whole thing meant yeah, to Yeah, that's a wee one? shot. You can just throw it into you in the morning. Okay, right. Because yeah, the last one of these You're was, brave. was wheatgrass. And, uh, and uh, well, it's an acquired taste. Uh, wheatgrass is an acquired taste, yeah. 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 Now, when you say it's got quite hot... Um, it's not too hot. It's, right. it's just a wee kick off it would be a way of describing right. it. Mm. So it'll be great for boosting your immune system, especially at this time of year when the weather is so cold. Um, there's definitely a wee kick of it. Yeah. It is quite, uh, well, it's we had a lot of... Flavoursome and... Um, we had a few waves buying them off us for, uh, they reckon, for their husband to get rid of the man flu. They reckon that would work fine. Mm. <laughs> um, ginger. Ginger, you have lemon, cayenne pepper, which is the wee kick, and then yeah. turmeric, which is the main one. Because right. turmeric is something we should be all taking, and it's very hard to get it into your diet 
unless you cook it in with the curry or something, unless it in this mm. raw in this raw state there. And it adds the distinctive colour as well. Or it's a very it's, it dyes everything, even if you're working with it on your hands, completely dyed. Mm. Okay then. Well, it's uh, it's a colourful range, uh, very distinctive on the shelves. Um, where's the stock locally? We have a few shops at the moment there and cafes. We're in Florence Food on the main street, and then we have the farm shop up by Alcorn Flowers, um, Spargling Care. The checkout down in Old Town, and then number six cafe in the courtyard. We're doing a launch in January now. We have a few new premises. We have Kelly's Mountain Top across the road, and a couple of premises in town as well. So. Okay, great stuff. And if you want to find out more, they can connect with you on Facebook. Connect with me on Facebook. Uh, there's contact details on that, and there's email as well. And we're currently getting a website designed at the moment, so that'll be in the pipeline for the new year as well. All right, well, continued success. Stephen McCrossan from Discover Juice. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Donegal.